Hi, this is Mark with QuixVenture.com. In this video, we're going to continue our Crystal Ubuntu installation by modifying the hardware of our Apple TV. We're going to remove the wireless card and replace it with a Crystal HD decoder board. This will allow Crystal Ubuntu to use the decoder board to play videos up to 1080p. The original Apple TV hardware had some serious limitations and really couldn't play high definition video. The Crystal HD decoder board overcomes that and allows XBMC to play just about anything you can throw at it, making the Apple TV a very effective video player. In order to do that, we're going to have to pull the case off of our Apple TV, and to do that, we'll need to locate the screws underneath the plastic footing. All you have to do is peel the plastic footing away from the corners to reveal four Torx screws. I'm using a Torx T10 bit on my screwdriver to remove the screws. There are four screws, two longer ones in the front and two shorter ones in the back. Unscrew and set the screws aside. If you have time, it's a good idea to remove the footing entirely. Just peel it completely off and underneath there's going to be a big piece of double-sided tape. And that's blocking all of the ventilation holes on the bottom of the Apple TV. If you can remove the plastic footing and then scrape off the double-sided tape, you can put something like uh, small pieces of wood or some uh, furniture risers on the corners and that will keep the Apple TV off of the countertop or shelf that you put it on and allow just a little bit better airflow. So once you've got the screws out, you're going to rock the back of the case up from the front and then slide it out from the back. And be careful because it's still attached to the IDE cable uh, on the hard drive to the motherboard. So you can see the hard drive is screwed onto the bottom of the case and then attached with an IDE cable. Use the blue tab to lift the IDE cable off of the motherboard and then set the case aside. Inside the Apple TV you'll see the various components. There is the power supply, the wireless adapter, wireless adapter antenna, the fan, and the rest is just the motherboard. We need to remove the wireless adapter and replace it with a Broadcom card. There are two types of Broadcom cards that are going to work in the Apple TV. The original Broadcom Crystal HD decoder model BCM70012. It's a full-size mini PCI card and it is a pretty good choice. It also is branded under uh, Azure Wave as well as Broadcom and it's pretty inexpensive, you can find it on eBay, but it's pretty much been replaced with the newer version, the Broadcom Crystal HD BCM70015. This is a half-height card with a metal riser coming off the back. The reason that you'd want to use the 70015 as opposed to the 70012 card is that the newer version of the card can accelerate XVID, DivX, and Flash video. And it also doesn't suffer from what's called the train wreck effect, when you fast forward or skip ahead. That is, the older card will have a couple of seconds of stuttering whenever you uh, start from pause or fast forward, jump back, jump forward, and it's really annoying. The newer card is much better. Uh, it's a faster card, uses less uh, electricity, and uh, will not generate as much heat. So get yourself the BCM70-70015 if you can. To remove the wireless adapter, we're going to have to pull off the antennas. They're held in by friction, there's a blue wire and a black wire, and you just lift them straight out and they'll pop off. Set them aside and try and keep them off of the motherboard. We'll actually rest it on top of the other card, you can tape it down with some electrical tape, something. You just don't want them to bridge contact on the motherboard with something that's going to short out. You'll see there's one Torx screw, same size as all the others, actually a little bit smaller, but the T10 Torx bit will pull it out. Unscrew, set aside the screw. To get the card out, rock it forward and pull it out. And that's it. Now we've removed the Apple wireless adapter, also a Broadcom card, and we'll set it aside. We don't need it anymore. We can always put it back and uh, make our Apple TV stock again, but for the time being we're just going to set it aside because I don't plan to really use it again. Take your Broadcom Crystal HD decoder board and replace it the same way that you just pulled out the other card. Push it into the sockets so that you can no longer see the gold pins 
and then you're going to push it down so that you can put the screw back in. Take your Torx bit and screw in the one screw that holds the card in place. It doesn't have to be too tight, you're just trying to get it nice and solid. Take the antennas, I'm just going to rest them on top of mine because I'm not going to move this around a whole lot, but you can certainly tape them down or use something that's going to keep them from making contact with the motherboard. And watch out for this uh, fan wire right here. Uh, sometimes it can get underneath the card. You just want to make sure that it's not, uh, not in the way. So that's the hardware modification in a nutshell. All we have to do now is reattach the IDE cable and put our Apple TV back together. So get the top uh, or the bottom piece of the Apple TV, find the IDE cable, and notice that it's keyed. There's a little uh, key on one side of the cable. Line that key up with the notch in the uh, socket. Push the cable back in, make sure it's nice and snug, and then replace the top of your, at the bottom of your Apple TV. It should just slide right in. The, uh, there's also a notch on the power, so sometimes this corner doesn't go in nicely. Just move it around until it goes in nice and tight. You'll use the two shorter screws on the back and screw the footing back onto the Apple TV. In a subsequent video, we're actually going to take this apart again, and I'm going to remove the fan and the hard drive. That'll make this into a completely silent Apple TV. The nice thing about that is that you don't actually need the hard drive if you're going to use Crystal Ubuntu. You boot off of a USB thumb drive and the operating system and everything you need is on that thumb drive. So if we remove the fan and the hard drive, there's no more, there's very little heat generated by the Apple TV and there's no noise. It becomes perfectly silent. So if you're interested in doing that, you're going to also have to modify a couple of system files on the USB thumb drive. We have a video and a guide at quicksventure.com that walks you through everything you have to do. It's only modifying a couple of lines of text in two, uh, two system files. The only real challenge is you have to do it inside of a Linux operating system because Windows can't read the file system. So I've screwed everything back together. The Apple TV is now in, back in good shape. And all we have to do to run Crystal Ubuntu is take our USB thumb drive that we created earlier, plug it into the USB socket. We can also use a USB hub, that's fine. Plug in power and HDMI and network, and you'll be running Crystal Ubuntu on your first generation Apple TV. This is Mark with QuicksVenture.com. Thanks for watching.